The colors blue and yellow together may not mean a lot to most, but to one family it represents much more. The colors are used on Sweden's national flag, which has become a part of the family's Swedish, her Swedish heritage. This week I followed the story of their son, a former Warburg student, on his journey overseas and back. Warburg music professor Dr. Jennifer Larson has been waiting for nearly two years to see her son finally come home. Oh man. In a way, it went by really quickly, and yet two years is a long time to not see your little boy. He's not a little boy, but we missed him a lot. Anders Larsson left for Sweden nearly two years ago to study as a missionary. He lived in six different cities in Sweden while teaching others about the Mormon faith. Anders says he's always had a strong faith, even at a young age. I, I'd always grown up with that desire to, to be a missionary. I needed to know for myself rather than just listen to what my parents and my teachers in church had been telling me. I have to have my own conviction, and I can't just take their conviction. That doesn't work. And Anders isn't the only one in his immediate family to take the journey. His father, Scott Larson, also traveled to Sweden as a missionary in his early 20s. Both Scott and Jennifer say seeing Anders follow in his father's footsteps brings warmth to their hearts. For Anders to be able to return to the land of our ancestors and, and being able to go to the place that I had gone to and uh, knowing what was in store for him, was, uh, I was really excited for him. And Anders may leave behind a place he called home for two years of his life, but he comes back with a stronger faith, a few Bro, Swedish on, phrases, can, can be, uh, and a sense of growing up. I think I'm a lot more prepared for, for what life has in store for me. And I feel that this is that I that I'm more mature now than I could have been at this point if I had not gone on a mission. Reporting for WTV News, I'm Caitlin Harbeck. Andres will begin attending Warburg again as a second year student next semester to study music. He plans to perform in this year's Christmas Warburg concert with the Warburg Choir. And tonight is Andres' 22nd birthday. So happy birthday, Andres.